This Shabbos, the first Shabbos after Tisha B'Av, is known as Shabbos Nachemu because of the first words of the Haftarah, in which the Navi tells us, Nachemu, Nachemu, Ami, that Hashem says that we should be comforted, the Jewish people should be comforted. Yomar Elokechem, thus the words of HaKadosh Baruch Hu, of our God. And Hashem is reaching out to the Jewish people after the difficulties of the last several weeks, of the three weeks and the nine days, and then the saddest day on the Jewish calendar, the calamities that we recall uh, that took place to our people on Tisha B'Av. And Hashem says to the Jewish people that He still loves us. And while the comfort is the message of the Haftorah, in the parasha itself, there's an expression of love that Hashem has for us. And that expression is with, of course, the words that were taught when we're little children and the final words that are a person in a Jew's mouth as they leave this world, the words of Shema, followed by the parak of Yahafta. And at the end of Yahafta, Hashem tells us, to write these words and to place them on the doorpost when a person goes into a room, they have the mezuzah that's protecting, that's entered, that's right at the entrance to the room. And that mezuzah is, as we're told, a shmira, protection. So how are we to understand what this is all about? The Rambam writes as follows in Hilchos Mezuzah. The Rambam says, Kol zaman sheikanes, every time that a person goes in, v'yetze, and goes out, yifka, they encounter, b'yichud Hashem shmo sho'akadosh baruchu, they encounter the yichud, the oneness of Hashem, and by doing so, whether it is that they touch the mezuzah, they look at the mezuzah, they kiss the mezuzah, by doing so, the yizkor ahavaso, by doing so, one remembers the love that there is between the individual and the individual's creator, between us, the Jewish people, and the Kodesh Baruch Hu, the love that we have for Hashem, and the love that Hashem has for us. And by doing so, we are reminded of the focus and the importance of, the, of what it is that Hashem wants from us in life. And it sets us back on a, a straight path. If we veer off the path and we enter the room and we see the mezuzah, we're reminded as to our priorities as Jews. The Gemara Masechah Zavad Azara tells us that what's normal is that if there is a king and the king is inside of a room, all the king's servants and the security details stand outside of the room so as to protect the king who is inside and not let anybody who shouldn't have access to the king get in and access the king. And the Gemara says the opposite is true when it comes to the Jewish people. We are the ones who are in the room, and HaKadosh Baruch Hu is on the outside protecting us. Rabbeinu Yonah writes that this is particularly true when it comes to the mezuzah, because the mezuzah is placed on our home, and it is a message that we give to HaKadosh Baruch Hu in reminding ourselves that the mamon, the success that we have, the financial success that we have, that is represented by the homes that we have, it was all from HaKadosh Baruch Hu, is all from Hashem. And it is a reminder when we go into every room and we see that mezuzah, and we kiss that mezuzah, we are reminded of the love that we are to instill within our families, within our children, to Hashem, but also to remind them of the love that HaKadosh Baruch Hu has for all of us. And that even when those rough moments come in life as they tend to come, where we're concerned and we think that we are alone, by looking at the mezuzah we're reminded that Hashem not only has His plan, but on some level HaKadosh Baruch Hu is there to protect us and to figure it will be hold our hand as we move forward in the next journey in life. May we be zoche to heed this message and to truly feel the protection of Hashem on a regular basis. Thank you for listening and have a good Shabbos.